Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and subscribe. If you enjoy this reading, this is a channel for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, but all signs are welcome. If you want to get a personal reading, there's a link in the description box below. I will be uh, offering a October and October discount reading coming up on my website very soon, so do keep an eye out for that. Um, thanks everybody for buying me a coffee. I greatly appreciate that and for donating to the child rescue campaigns. All right, you guys, so let's get into your messages for October and see what is coming up for you. Do a little check in, see what other messages does Virgo need to know. Oh, good, you've got true love, pure love, honest connection happening starting off here. Okay, let's see. You also have soulmate, great connection, relationship showing up in October. Okay, you've got brunette female, darker hair, intense and focused. And wow, true gem, valuable quality and jewelry. Goodness, what's happening? You've got fair male. Okay, and one more. Oh, you've got freedom. Very nice. Okay, let's start with these. See what comes up. Okay, you're starting with true love, Virgo. So, pure love and honest connection showing up for you in October. Let's see, who is this going to be? Who are you going to be having a true love connection with? What is this energy about for Virgo in October? Virgo's true love. Okay, a whole bunch of cards flipping out here. So, you've got... Hmm. Wow. Okay. Could be with a Pisces. Could be a Sagittarius energy. But it looks like... Um, definitely a joyous, kind of successful situation. Let's see here. You're, you've got a true love situation happening here for you. Finding true love. Meeting somebody. A great connection happening you know this is divine timing so you've got with temperance this is like all things kind of coming together I feel like the angels inspiring to bring you and another person together this person comes in they could be a an earth they could be a Virgo but it looks like an energy of somebody coming in out of the shadows from kind of behind the scenes I don't know if you know this person you might um, they could sit in a position of where they're successful or they are well known. This is somebody who receives maybe a lot of accolades, um, or they get a lot of, they have a lot of awards also. But this kind of feels like this has been brewing um, for some time. You might have received some kind of message about this, like through your dreams as well, that this, it feels like. I'm hearing you have already seen this person in your dreams or you kind of already known that this was happening and it was just a matter of you two um, or the universe bringing you both together in harmony and in balance, okay? Yes. Um, it looks like, I feel like the message here is this was not going to happen until you were absolutely stable. I feel like you were... Um, I don't know if it's financially stable or you were just, okay, they're saying physically stable or just completely single, um, mentally, spiritually, emotionally, or acknowledge that within yourself, like have let go maybe of a past thing or let go of an expectation of some sort. There's definitely a connection with a true love energy happening pure love, honest connection, a beautiful connection with someone in October. So that looks really, really amazing. And it looks like a very successful thing. And so it kind of feels like it, this, they're just giving me like this kismet vibe, like this whole time. They're giving, okay, this is very odd Two. So they're showing me two people who have are on the bottom floor of a building and each of them got into separate elevators going up. Neither one of them knows the other. Neither one of them is aware that they both got on separate elevators. They don't know each other, I'm hearing. Or they just don't know that they both boarded 
an elevator at the same time, different elevators at the same time. They're both going up to the same floor and when that door opens, they're both gonna meet on that same floor. And that's when this kismet kind of thing, and this, this is like fate, this is destiny, this is kismet. So I feel like this is something where I don't know. It's like, why didn't you guys just meet on the first, on the ground floor? I don't know. It just they're just giving me this image. You know, this was all pre-planned. So you're getting on the elevator and and you're going wherever you're going and you have no idea. And then once you get to the floor, you get to. I know this sounds crazy, but th this is what they're trying to say. That once you get to the floor you're going to, once you step out of that elevator, your person steps out and there you see each other. You meet each other, and it's like. <laughs> there's your true love there's your true love right there okay um now that might resonate for some of you in some way i'm not really sure how but i feel like that's a real strong message so your yeah your true love is on the fifth floor of a of an office building or a building <laughs> you're gonna connect you're gonna meet them uh, i don't know if you know that that's gonna turn like where it goes from there but you do have soulmate here and great connection and relationships. So let's take a look and see what's going on. Now it could be, this. these might all be tying in together. So it could be between someone who is a brunette and someone who is, I guess, maybe blonde or light hair. Or um, we have brunette female or brunette male, darker hair, intense, focused. Fair male is just someone who's lighter than darker. Okay, so... Fair male, fair female. All right, let's take a look. Soulmate, great connection, true love, relationship. Let's see. All Virgos are gonna be rushing to like the fifth floor of the the nearest building. I can just see it. <laughs> Let me get on that elevator. Get out of the way. My soulmate's up there on the fifth floor. Get out of the way. <laughs> okay. Let's see. The chariot. Nine of Wands. I feel like the Nine of Wands keeps showing up in your readings a lot. I don't know. Or if I'm just noticing it more. Okay. You have Five of Pentacles. Ooh. You've got the Devil. What in Jesus' sandals? Let me see. One more. Oh, wow. Okay. Four of Cups. Okay, now this this feels a little different. Okay, this energy with this soulmate thing. There is someone. There is someone that does feel like you are their soulmate. But this this connection is doesn't feel healthy. This might be. You know, we talk about karmic twin flame. This might be a karmic soulmate. It's this great connection and relationship. I feel like you're going to hear from someone that you have walked away or that you have left or that you have put really strict boundaries up. It could be a Cancer or a Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. That's just an energy. But I do feel like whoever, the, a very unhealthy relationship that may have caused some kind of illness or that you had to put boundaries up. I feel like there's a surprise this person coming in, um, moving forward, trying to make progress with you, even with that devil. This person is a bit possessive or kind of obsessed with you. Now, I don't feel like you're in danger or anything like that, but I do feel like someone's coming toward you that they feel that you guys are soulmates. So I do feel like this person... I don't, I don't feel it's healthy. That's the message I'm getting. I don't feel like this is healthy. Okay, with this devil energy I, you know it's just because it surrounds these cards here this doesn't feel healthy this is illness this is needing to put up boundaries this is apathy and difference this is how their energy is this person showing up where they're they they do not feel like they're well they close they're very closed off even with that devil energy there's a bit of um obsession or addiction or uh, greed or jealousy and that kind of stuff and even with the chariot this this kind of feels like oh i don't know this person trying to make a change here but they're coming towards you but you're my soulmate you're my soulmate i can't let you go right um i don't know if that's a warning or if it's just something that you need to know that there is definitely in october somebody coming towards you who is not letting you go, who says that we're, you guys are soulmates and 
they're showing up by car, train, automobile, I don't even know. Um, they're going to be at your house taking an Uber. <laughs> I don't know what the deal is. They, they think you have a great connection. They, they want to have a relationship with you or try to re start a relationship with you i don't know if you're not you, you might not even want that maybe you do i mean everybody's got their thing you might want this still um you might feel like this person's a soulmate but maybe you have your doubts i'm not really sure what everyone's thing is but i can tell you that their energy i don't know i don't really it looks like they might have done a lot of blocking or just kind of some push pushback. This person might have had some kind of problems before. They don't accept that maybe you moved on or that you're not accepting anything, any love that they have to offer. But they're definitely like, I feel like they're attached, very attached to you, very sick without you as well. For some of you um, where this isn't a toxic thing and this does feel like this is a soulmate connection um, that maybe you're not with this person and they're not with you. I mean, this person, I will have to say, um, they're like a mess. They really are a mess. Like they're, they're like really obsessed with you. This is the second message, okay? So whatever, whichever one resonates for you where it wasn't toxic, but this person feels very ill without you. I do feel like they might have a lot of regret in some way. I do feel like they're trying to make change. I will have to say that, okay? I feel like they're trying to make change, trying to figure out how they can stop being in this devil energy, but they, you know, mm, there might have been a lot of physical, they might have put like physical pleasure before the relationship, that which caused it to really not grow in all areas. Yeah. So just, I feel like one of those two messages might resonate for you. And I feel like you need to keep your eyes and ears peeled because some of you might be deciding to, that you want to stay free from that relationship for sure and just keep being single some of you might decide you just want to stay single period and not have any relationships in october which you know that's your choice let's take a look at brunette female darker hair intense focused okay what's going on with the brunette female okay oh the lovers The lovers, six of swords. This brunette female is looking for love. Wow. Cutting off some real yucky relationships. Done with abusive relationships. Looking for stability. Looking to have a long-term secure partnership with someone. Okay. King of swords. Okay. So if you are the brunette female, okay, or male, it does look like you might be, you might have had a relationship with a Gemini Libra or uh, Aquarius that maybe you thought was love or was hoping was going to turn into something long-term stable. Looks like that's over and you're taking a real intense focused look at that in October and moving your energy away from that coming out of your comfort zone taking a look at that facing that situation okay um now there may also be somebody coming in towards you whatever gender you are who is leaving their marriage or a long-term relationship or a business or a family business, um, they're making a huge change. Um, feels like something that they, some type of traditional, feels like family, or family or money, or something traditional that they've been locked into for a very long time, and it looks like they're getting out of that. It has kept them from having, um, love or a marriage or happiness or joy 
Uh, the lovers makes me feel like freedom to choose who we want to be with because love does not discriminate, okay? So there might have been something that this person could not... They had parameters or perimeters or boundaries that they could not breach. And it looks like they're actually cutting those boundaries or perimeters. They're breaching them. And with the Six of Swords, I feel like this person is transitioning away and getting away from cutting out and getting away from some kind of rules or regulations or things like that that were put on them in order to have a, this love you know the just like a decision i feel like this person i don't know mm, they couldn't make a decision they weren't allowed either they weren't allowed or they couldn't make a decision to choose who they wanted to love i don't know what that means but that's what i feel like that message is so they're either they could be an air sign or have air in their chart somewhere they could be a brunette male or female but it looks like there's change happening in October um, with this person it, it could be like either they might have been very dedicated to their career or their job and that caused them to not be able to have some kind of um, uh, be dedicated to love or a relationship or a long-term partnership of other commitments maybe family commitments too yeah it looks like there's change with that happening in october so that's connected to you definitely as far as love goes now you also have true gem showing up here so i don't know some of you are out there with um you're on the beach with a metal detector <laughs> you might find some treasures out there in the sand let's see True gem, valuable quality jewelry. Um, okay, somebody's gonna come across something. You're gonna come across something in October of that will like a trinket or a piece, like some type of antique. I'm just hearing, or a piece of jewelry or something that's quite valuable, like a true gem. Okay, so do keep that in mind if you're one of those people who seeks antiques or even if you're not you come across something like that by accident you have it appraised or you have a piece of jewelry appraised just out of the blue be showing up very valuable to be very valuable let's see what else okay look at that the page of swords that's seeking curiosity yeah so yeah that's what i'm talking about that feels strictly about that you might have a piece of jewelry, you might have something that you're not sure, or you might come across something in October where it's like, wait, I wonder if this is worth something or let me have this appraised. Um, doing a little research, yes, something that you look up or you have appraised or do some research on will turn out to be valuable, will turn out to be worth, look at that, a lot of money. That's gonna put you in a different tax bracket, Virgo, let me just say in yes yes you're gonna be in a different tax bracket virgo because of this thing this this little gem here let's see i don't know what it is it might be well it looks here it's got purple color i don't know anything about gems and they're not really giving me anything okay wow you've got the fool maybe you're a collector you're out in your travels you might find this as well garage sales looking for stuff come across something by accident I don't know do they have like sales or going to antique shows or um, estate sales or just coming across someone that's passed away and the, and family selling some things and you find something i feel like this is finding something <laughs> for sure
prying eyes finding the truth about the peace uh, yeah it's the value of something i really feel like with that king of pentacles that's that's you i mean really this is this is going to put you in like being able to invest this is this is going to put you in like a yeah i just keep hearing more money more money look at that i'm not kidding oh my gosh this is for real there's the ace of pentacles like seriously virgo i'm telling you i am telling you worth a lot of money worth a lot of money investment new income i am telling you october oh my gosh what are you gonna find treasure hunt what are you gonna find maybe like a could something to do with like um i'm just hearing like a grandmother a great grandmother or some finding something something being passed down that you receive or that you've had it's worth a lot of money uh, it doesn't have to just be a gem you know it could be something of value which i'm not really sure it could be like a document or a signature um something of old uh, some type of a certificate maybe even that holds value that's like worth something you might already have something too that you know is worth something you might decide to put it on the market to see if anybody would like to buy it and you get a lot of hits and a big offer comes in to purchase it to buy it from you comes it might even come from afar frees you up financially that's for sure so if you've got something that you're sitting on that you've been kind of contemplating might be okay to see you know how much it might be worth or if you put it out there to see what people might be would be willing to offer for it because i, I definitely see like a pretty penny coming in for whatever you have it might even be something you know that you're it's just something you're sitting on that might grow or has grown in its in value yes 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 okay you've got fair male lighter than darker and you've got the king of cups okay so the fair male or fair female could be you or it could be the other person and the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces let's see so i also want to say because i need to say this um fair male could also re or fair female could also represent the personality of the king of cups again masculine or feminine the um cup energy generally like the the king or queen of cups are very fair type of energies they're very empathetic tolerant nurturing type of people can um, when they're in the upright can be quite giving and um easygoing types for the most part okay so you've got a reconciliation situation happening now for some of you this could be with um another parent and the children could be reconcil reconciling with um, a parent and kids, whether that's an ex, whether that's brother or sister. Um, could be like a Halloween thing, spending time trick-or-treating, Halloween kind of thing, or a birthday as well. It could be romantic as well. There could be somebody here um, being nostalgic about you coming back around in the month of October. Let's see what else is going on. Oh, you also have the King of Wands. Okay. Um, this could be somebody who's also on the cusp of Pisces and Aries. Uh, let's see. They could be a Cancer Leo. And they could be a Sagittarius Scorpio. Could be a Cusper. Okay. Um, There could be a same-sex relationship with children involved as well where there's a reconciliation could be two brothers or two sisters getting together coming back together after some type of separation and bringing the kids back together as well let's see what else okay yeah after so there was definitely some kind of 
ending. Um, now Virgo, you could also have water in your chart or you could have fire in your chart or be on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. Something that, I will say this, something that has ended, there is a reconciliation between two people. After um, a very harsh, debilitating kind of ending, something like completely bottomed out with the Ten of Swords, painful ending, hitting rock bottom, um, and the only way to go now is back up. So it starts, restarts at the beginning with overcoming some conflict, talking again, um, gaining clarity in this connection, kind of having a restart. There you are. Okay. And some of you also may be thinking about whether or not you want to reconcile with one or two people after something has ended also. Um, or you've got two people and yesterday's reading there was a triangle um, you also may be thinking whether or not to let two people go and not make a decision and just decide which is still a decision to let two people go or to, to still contemplating whether or not to choose one or the other okay so that was a couple of different messages in that situation right there and i have to give that because we have two court cards showing up okay but it does feel like the past coming back. Okay. And let me see what your freedom. So you, again, like I said, you do have some of you, like I said, being single, keeping things casual and being lighthearted. Some of you are just like, maybe I just don't want to choose at all. I'm hearing that um, Rush song. If you choose not to decide. You still have made a choice. I got the melody totally wrong. That's okay. I'm not about to sing Getty Lee stuff. But, yeah. You've got freedom. So, you might just decide not doing anything. There you go. Knight of Swords. Taking control and power back of your life. Let's see. Making a beeline out the door. <laughs> and just doing your own thing here, Virgo. Like I said, Knight of Swords making that lifestyle change some of you are just like you know what i'm done with relationships just don't i want to be free i want to be single i don't want to have to share my bed i want the covers all to myself i want to be able to walk around my house naked i want to eat what i want to eat i don't want to have to make dinner for anybody i don't have to cook for anyone i don't want anyone to cook for me i don't want to have to answer i don't want to tell anybody where i'll be at six o'clock and when i'll be coming home i don't want to answer to anybody I want to be able to, I don't want to have to do anything. I feel like some of you just are like, just want to be single. You want to get in your car and go for a road trip or just go drive around on your day off and go hang out at the lake and just do your own thing and not tell anybody what you're doing. Some of you really are in that energy. Sounds good to me. Okay. Got justice. Some of you want to be away from, possibly an air sign. And you just want to go out and be wild and go have fun. Okay, just go out and be wild and go have fun. Just be kind of in and out, just maybe dating. Um, Go get your, go after your passions. Go chase your passions. Doesn't necessarily mean physical passions as far as intimacy goes with some, with others. It can just mean get your spark back for life. Get your fiery energy back of your life. Just go, just be able to go and not have to answer to anyone. That kind of thing. I do feel that strong for a lot of you. Just uh, being honest with yourselves, having a win-win in your life. Yeah, look, you've got the three of cups. So, you know, just kind of be, maybe be more social in October. Go to parties. Look, this is definitely an October message. Look at the pumpkins. The pumpkin. Halloween parties, social events, gatherings. You know, having some spiced rum. 
just kind of having a good time and hanging out with your sisters or your friends or your bros, you know, um, enjoying the holiday season coming up, football, basketball, baseball, if you do that kind of thing, and, you know, going to shows and, and uh, I don't know, fairs and, and doing all that stuff and just being single and free. For, and you know what? Guess what? That's when love comes in. Look at that. Not going to lie. <coughs> when you don't want it, that's when it happens. And it's not, I don't even know that you don't want it. I just feel like you want to be free more. And it, it, For some of you, not all of you. But it seems like when you just want to be free and happy and loving yourself and just not needing to be in a relationship... I'm sure you might it's lovely to have companionship of course but when you don't need it and you're happy doing your own thing which is awesome love actually that's when you kind of be you seem more attractive and that's when some type of love proposal comes in here looks like a love proposal coming in um could be from a Pisces for some of you, I think it's like a Pisces. Um, overall message, overall message, a water sign. So you could have a new love start with a water sign here. Could also be a Libra. For some, I will put that out there. Let me see. It, there's a lot of water here. Could be um, fire sign. We a Sag. Okay. So it feels like overall right there, your messages are kind of, well, they're random. <laughs> they're very random. But I feel like, I'm, you know what, Virgo, I'm just going to keep it real. Like love is great and all, but this whole gem thing, like seriously, you need to leave me a message. If you guys come across some kind of antique or gem, like major profit. Like, even a lottery ticket. Like, you could, like, actually scratch off. Maybe you find one. Some of you, uh, they're just saying you might actually find one. Look at you. And, like, look, what the hell is this on the counter there? Somebody left a lottery ticket. You bring it, you take it, and it's like, oh. Look at that. I'm telling you, that, that seems to be pretty awesome right there. I mean, I know, like, finding a beautiful love soulmate connection is just as rare as hitting the lottery. But... I don't know. Love don't pay the bills, right? <laughs> I hate to sound like a pessimist. I'm not trying to be a pessimist, but I know my Virgos, and Virgos keep it real, you know? So let's get a couple of other messages to see what else is showing up here for you. Oh, you guys. Y'all are just, you kill me. You're so much fun. All right, let's check your Chinese signs and see what messages are here for you. Wow, right out the gate. We've got Year of the Snake. So this would be you. We're going to take a look at you. Okay. Year of the Snake, Year of the Monkey, Year of the Tiger, Year of the Pig, Year of the Dragon. We've got Snake again. Year of the Horse, Year of the Goat, and Year of the Dog. Okay, so that's definitely you if it's not you don't worry about it doesn't mean it's not your message all right let's see what other messages there are here for you virgo what other messages does virgo need to know all right you've got putting in effort so this is good so either somebody's going to be putting in some hardcore effort with you in october or you're going to be putting in effort into something in october okay I definitely feel like someone's going to be putting in effort with you, though. So keep your eyes out with that. Future plans, choosing a path, okay? So you will be definitely looking at your future and making some decision. You've got a transition. This is the death card, so it looks like the end to some type of situation that you feel like you've been suffering in. The end of it's coming. It's out with the old and in with the new in October. No one said this would be easy, of course. This season in your life is transforming and bringing you into a whole new hemisphere. Allow it to happen and go with the flow. It's now time for change. And as a matter of fact, Friday the 29th is the super moon. It's a harvest moon in Aries. 
So that is definitely a time to set your intentions. I feel like the harvest moon is going to come. It's going to rise a lot earlier, so we're going to have much more light for a much longer time, and that will give you that energy will be super super strong. Manifesting in Aries, which basically means Aries is the beginning sign of the zodiac that starts off the entire new cycle, and Aries is a cardinal sign, which is all about passion, fire and new beginnings so if you have any intentions that you want to set for this super moon the harvest moon represents gathering up all of our nuts and storing them for the winter so whatever you need to sustain you um, for this coming winter season you know we're gathering in the fall whatever you need to store for this coming winter season to sustain you going forward set your intentions for that that's going to get you through. Uh, I mean, it's all based on, you know, it's, I think in certain countries, it's called the, the farmer's moon. Um, when the farming season ends, that's what we're, we harvest all of our goods, the end um, of, of Virgo season. And then we begin storing all of our nuts. Don't make, I know somebody in the chat are going to make a joke about that. I, I probably should know better and not mention nuts in my chat, <laughs> but you know, I can just name a couple of you are going to make some comments about these nuts. But anyway, let's move on. So there's definitely um, change happening and new beginnings coming. You also have peace. Beautiful. The influence of balance and harmony are over you. Leave things be and allow spirit to work in your life. All good things are happening behind the scenes. That's what I said. That elevator story, if you missed it, go back to the very beginning. Trust that God is working in your life even when you feel discouraged or nothing's happening. It's during the calm that is when things are brewing. Um, be patient and trust his timing. You also have an <laughs> endure and be patient. There you go. Spirit and I team up. There you go. Committed love relationship coming in. Committed relationship, love relationship coming in for you in your future. Don't worry. Message from an admirer. Definitely in October. Ooh, somebody's liking you. Somebody's got a thing for you, Virgo. You've got cel family celebrations, wedding. This is the Four of Wands. Virgo, this is beautiful. This is a homecoming reunion. Celebrations, family, friends, marriage. This is the 11-11. This is the foundation for joy and happiness. I mean, the whole message right here, just the trail, endure and be patient, a committed love relationship is coming. There's a message from an admirer that's going to lead to, to a, a beautiful, happy reunion is how I feel for some of you, or a family, uh, like it's a marriage card as well, a wedding, engagement celebration so i love it um if that's something that you're looking for it, and I don't, when i say marriage it's it doesn't always mean the traditional marriage it just means like marrying two souls coming together you know marriage um it it, it can be long-term partnership companionship you know marriage for some is a piece of paper for other people it's it's a doctrine and it's very important and so however you view it when i say it i'm not specific to anything i just mean marrying of two people together you know like the way you marinate your meat you know the way you're marrying things together it's just a coming together of happiness and joy and two people are meant to be together so it's a positive let me get your a couple of love messages here for you See what your love messages are, Virgo. Okay, finances and career are a factor in your love life right now. So some of you are definitely taking a look at your finances and career. You may not want to get into a relationship at this time because your finances and career are taking precedent over a relationship, and that's fine. Um, you're dealing with those issues right now, um, and obviously you got to eat. You got to eat, so you got to take care of business first. You also have some flirt, so extend your lighthearted energy to others. So if that's the best you can arrive at in October, that's fine. Flirt. If you can't get into anything serious, um, 
flirt. Some of you have a separation where there's going to be some time apart from your particular partner at this time. Um, but I do feel like there will still be phone calls and communication. So there might be some physical separation between you and another person, but I feel like you will still keep in touch. Um, I see visualizations, which will keep you two together. So there may be Skype calls or video calls, that stuff going on from between you and another person while you're in separation. Um, I'm not seeing like a breakup. Um, there might be two people who just can't physically be in each other's presence um, for some reason going forward. So I do feel like, um, but the, the communication will still happen. You, more so you will see each other um, in some way. Maybe you'll just dream about each other. I mean, I don't know. Talk to each other through your dreams. Could be that too. Um, okay, let's get a couple of numbers. All right, you've got Leo, Virgo, and Cancer. You've got the letter H, letter E, letter A. I'm picking up Haley. That just came to me. 1969, 1977, and 1981. Significant uh, year of birth. Let's give these another shuffle. I also heard Leia, Leah. Or Lay or Lee. Oh, this one's stuck. Okay, 1977, 1972, 1984. Leo and Double Taurus here. We have the letter G, the letter E, the letter A. Okay. Give these another shuffle. 1985, 1969 again, 1974 again. Okay. All right, now we got a lot. Whoa, we got a lot. August 31st, someone is 19, I'm sorry, someone is 35 years of age. Someone's born in November. Okay, we have August 23rd. We have someone is 38. September 13th. August 29th. Someone's born in 73. Okay, we have Taurus again, Aries and Capricorn. Okay, Taurus showing up a lot, so that's significant. Okay, we have G, X, I. Okay, we have the letter J, the letter X, the letter D. We have a Joe, we have Jax, we have Day, D, A, E. Uh, let's see, Jade. Someone's name might be Jade. We have the letter R. Jared. We have your X showing up here. Uh, <laughs> someone is an ox, born in the year of the ox. <clears throat> um, okay. Mm, I'm picking up Dave or Dax. Is that a name Dax? Raja. Raja, Raja, okay. It's funny how some of these names come out and I don't really, our name's really that hard to mix up. JR, JD, OJ, yo, what's up? Okay. Let me get a couple more here. See what other initials we come up, or other names I can come up with. All right. Um, someone's allergic to wheat, and you really need to be careful eating wheat, I just heard. Okay, someone's very fit, or is trying to get fit. Heather. I heard the name Heather. Um, Tina. Hawthorne. 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 Name Hawthorne. Hawthorne. I can't say that. Hawthorne. 
that's weird they're not letting me say that maybe I'm not saying it right Haw Thorn so that could be a street or a city or somebody's name okay Fiat like the car um, uh, uh, okay wait wait what the heck is a wait uh, somebody's okay they're saying wait wait somebody's saying wait somebody wants you to wait um okay now they're saying if you see a feather there's something to do with a feather this is your message um and there's also something about the heat something about the heat um they're giving the initial f o f is in frank o is in oh <laughs> Amy I'm hearing Amy um, okay so we have the letter T the letter W and the letter F right so I said that okay that's interesting so let's go for the charms let's see what shows up here for you also 1978 you were born in 78 Oh, okay, we're doing a lot of seashell, seashore stuff. So we have an elephant, baby elephant. Significant for someone, baby elephant. Decorating a child's room, seeing baby elephants somewhere, whether it's toys or stickers or tattoos or um, elephant is significant for someone, really loves elephants or pays attention to elephants everywhere we go. I'm also seeing, like this doesn't make sense, okay. Uh, somebody also might be visiting a zoo and there's a baby elephant that's being born or that was just born in a zoo we also have a seahorse i'm sorry not a seahorse a starfish and a shell like a clam that have been fused together these are not generally these charms are generally separate but this this gives me a sense that there are two people who don't generally go together they're not generally seen together. So that might have something to do with heritage or race, you know, how people divide things up, right? Um, it could be a gender thing, you know, where there's, because of human restriction that people place on other people culturally or so so socioeconomically whatever there's like this religious restriction whatever it is there's these two people who are different in some way okay either by society standards or just by human standards whichever which you know whatever that's fine they don't normally to go together or they're not seen or approved of which is a horrible thing to say However, these two people are fused together by fate, by destiny, by love, by they are meant to be together despite the opposition, despite the external forces that are trying to pull them apart, okay? Because at the end of the day, you see the starfish and the, the clam are both of the sea. They're both of the ocean, you know? So... It's kind of like saying, you know, we, we come from the dust, and the ashes, and we return to the dust and the ashes. So we all come from the same place, you know. So I, I feel like that's the foundation that despite the differences, two people are exactly the same. And this is the love. The love between two people there are no there's no discrimination there are no differences the love does not have eyes the love does not have a conscious to look at another person and say well i can't love you because of a b c d and the list goes on and on i just love you despite all of that i love you anyway you know and i feel like there's two people here that either they're apart because society says they should be apart or because they're convinced that they should be even so they have like a conflict in their mind and in their heart and they know that they're meant to be together and they know that they're fused together um 
I don't know what to tell you to do about that, but I can say that I feel like if that's resonating for you or that's a situation that you're connecting to, um, and you know that about you and another person, that other person knows it as well. And that might be part of this story. Either your story that you're breaking free of those bounds that have been put on you or another person is breaking free of those bounds that have been put on them. Society, family, religious, on and on and on. In order for two people to be together. It's a little bit of... Um, <laughs> I hate to say Romeo and Juliet because that story didn't turn out too well. <laughs> but it's two people that um, defy all the odds. Uh, love is very powerful. And love cannot be defeated so yeah that's your story there you go there's your messages i hope you enjoyed that can't wait to see what tomorrow brings tomorrow will be thursday so that will be your weekend messages and thanks everybody for booking your readings i mean i have enjoyed talking to you all this week it's been super awesome and again go over to my website i'll be putting up the october special spooky discount readings for the month and yeah please do continue to donate to the child rescue funds i greatly appreciate that any bit that you can give is always a help even if it's a dollar and even if it's 10 cents if you can't give please do share my website so the other people might have the opportunity to give i greatly appreciate that and if you would like to buy me a coffee you can always do that there's all the links are there's a link under my profile picture that you can just click and that will take you to my link tree and everything you need is right there all right you guys so i hope you have a great evening and i'll see you all back here tomorrow take care bye my heart